some time to join. I'm going to try to get my screen shared. Let's hope I don't do what I did earlier when I was practicing. So give me one second. So I'm going to do this. See y'all. No. Okay, here we go. Okay. So Everyone see that logo? The chat, you can see it. Okay, the whole screen. Oh, uh, what do you mean? You can see the whole screen. Oh, you see my whole screen. Let's see. Stop streaming. Okay. Give me a second, y'all. Don't you see first time? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Oh, how's that? It's roaming on your end, China, though. It's because. So how many people we got in here? What time is it? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm good. All right. Gonna get started. Welcome everyone. My presentation on healing energy. Um, I'm not gonna be able to see the chat because I don't know how to go back and forth with the different slides and not see the chat, but I want to see the chat. How can I do that, y'all? Um, can I see the chat here? Let me see. Okay, I can see that here. Oh, no. Yeah. Can y'all see me? I can't do that. I was on my phone. <sighs> okay, I won't be able to see the chat. Okay, okay we're, we're just, just gonna go with it. Go with the flow. Welcome in, I'm so glad y'all here. I am so excited uh, to do this presentation. And I am honored to be able to do this presentation. I think I'm gonna turn my camera off so y'all can just see the presentation. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I 
Okay. Welcome to my energy healing presentation. As I always say, I don't believe in coincidences. So I'm truly grateful for your being divinely guided here. And I'm grateful to the universe, my spirit squad, and Ermi for this amazing opportunity, and Jessica for making it happen. I am truly honored. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bridget, but most of the, most of you know me across all social media platforms as Purple Faith, Master Healer, High Dimensional Quantum Healing Energy. I always knew I was a healer since childhood. My being raised heavily in religion, my spirituality and gifts were, su were suppressed. In 1994, I left religion as a young adult and began my spiritual journey. one when I was Reiki attuned and then I started going live on TikTok um, doing my healing sessions. Uh, in 2022, I was going live twice a day, every day until 2024, and I received divine, a divine message uh, with an upgrade and download that I'm no longer channeling from the Earth's energy, which is Reiki. I have been activated and upgraded. So now I go live when I'm divinely guided, channeling from high dimensional across dimensions and uh, realms. And I'm extremely grateful to be a vessel, a beacon and able to channel high dimensional quantum healing energy and allow it to go where it's needed. Omnipresently, everywhere at all times, omnipotently, all powerful and omnisciently, all knowing. I hope everyone can hear me. I allow myself to be a healing channel to heal across timelines, dimensions, and across realms while resonating with your whole being on a quantum level. I'm able to reach beyond the Earth's dimension and utilize myself as a vessel, mastering the technique of harnessing and channeling high dimensional healing energy. I have the capacity to have healed and to continue to heal myself whenever myself is in need of healing. And in turn, I am able to exude a frequency that others are able to tap into and match for themselves. To quote Albert Einstein, everything is energy at the most fundamental levels and that's all there is to it. We're all living on a planet of energy. Everything is vibrational. We are all energy. We are all we are spirit first. We came into a human vessel, but we are spirit first. And everything is energy. Whatever you're looking at is energy. Anything solid, that's energy, but it's just vibrating on a frequency that makes it dense. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you can't help but to get that reality. It can be no other way. It's the law, one of the 12 universal laws. But that's another whole nother presentation in itself. The law, the law states that on an energetic level, everything in the universe is constantly evolving and fluctuating. Every action is preceded by a thought. And with thoughts themselves having the power to eventually manifest our physical reality. Hence, thoughts become things. And so forth. With energy. Our thoughts, beliefs, attitudes, emotions affect the way we experience illness and health in our lives. You can heal your mind, body, and spirit by shifting the energy on a quantum level, which is atomically and subatomically, protons, neutrons, electrons, all the way down. 
Consciousness does not control the brain or the nervous system. It can only influence the flow of information between cells and organs. Health is fluid and changeable depending on what we do and what we think. Some of the benefits of healing energy. You can heal yourself mentally, emotionally, vibrationally, financially, physically, and you can balance and and uh, align your chakras mentally, emotionally, vibrationally, financially, physically, and you can align your chakras as well. Illness is manifested displaced energy. So on a mental level, um, breath work, you can do breath work, um, exercise, anything physically, emotionally, meditation, vibrational, listen to some uh, Hertz frequencies, some sophlegios frequencies, sound baths on the financial level, affirmations, meditations on a physical level. Uh, physically work out, herbs on a chakra level, um, healing energy from um, a Reiki, I mean, a practitioner um, to help balance your chakras. There are some mudras and mantras for the different chakras. Every chakra has uh, a, a location in the body, and every and it's all physical. So whatever area of your body there's the organs and uh, physical attributes that associate with those different chakras um, but that like i say that's another uh, presentation in itself but if you check out my tiktok page i have a lot a lot of videos on chakras as far as healing the different um balancing the different chakras um and healing different parts of your body different organs and everything uh, associated with those chakras. To reiterate, your body has an incredible ability to physically heal itself. And energetically, you have the capacity to heal emotionally, vibrationally, mentally, and even financially. You already have the ability to raise your energy levels and tap into your body's natural healing potential. There are several different modalities to raise your vibrational frequency that can go hand in hand or applied alone, such as hands-on, which is most of our go-to modality, uh, crystal therapy, sound therapy, consistent of hertz frequencies, so phalangeo frequencies, sound instruments, nature, the angel's cocktail, breathing techniques, affirmations, meditations, mudras, mantras, and chakra healings. Just follow your divine guidance. An illness is manifest displaced energy. Your body doesn't distinguish physical problems from emotional struggle. When we are ill or in pain, we instinctively place our hands in that area. And mothers instinctively place their hands and or kiss their child in the area they're hurting or have been injured. And everyone has the innate ability to heal themselves. And at the core of your being, you know this, and it's why you're here and not at this moment, in this present moment. Your higher self brought you here to remind you, and I am the one to remind you in this moment as being the channel, the vessel, and the conduit. Emotions are energy. Energy cannot be destroyed, only converted from one form to another. When emotions cause stress, it's the energy asking you to vibrate higher so that you can transform it and shift it into freedom. You embrace your shadows. Once the shadow is embraced, it can be healed. So we're going to go over the angel's cocktail because once you raise your vibrations and raise your frequency, uh, it gives away gives way for a more full flow of healing energy, and you you match the, and you match the vibration 
and the vibration of healing is um, is high. So to raise your vibration, there's different things you can do, and Angel's Cocktail is one of them. There are four hormones associated with the Angel's Cocktail. And dopamine is one of them. And dopamine is a type of neurotransmitter or hormone. And it can play a role in important parts of your function in your body, including movement, memory, pleasurable rewards, and motivations. High levels of dopamine are associated with several mental health and neurological diseases. And dopamine uh, effect is reward and praise. And to boost your dopamine, you can set a goal and complete it. Celebrate those little victories. Cook your favorite meal. Practice an act of self-care. Or get a good night's sleep. Another hormone is in the endorphins. The endorphins are neurotransmitters released by the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus in the brain. As natural hormones, they can alleviate pain, lower stress, improve your mood, and enhance your sense of well-being. The body releases endorphins when you do pleasurable activities such as eating, exercising, sex, and etc. Endorphins is a natural pain reliever. To boost your endorphins, you exercise, laugh out loud, eat dark chocolate, watch a funny video. These are just some um, examples of what you can do, but you know the list is not exhaustive. Another one is oxytocin. Oxytocin is a natural hormone that manages key aspects of the female and male reproductive system between labor, delivery, and lactation, as well as aspects of human behavior. Your hypothalamus makes oxytocin. But your posterior pituitary gland stores it and releases it into your bloodstream. To boost the love hormone, which is oxytocin, you snuggle a pet, cuddle with a baby, hug someone, pass on a compliment, or hold hands. The last one is serotonin. Serotonin plays several roles in your body, including influencing learning, memory, happiness, and as well as regulating the body's temperature, sleep, sexual behavior, and hunger. Lack of serotonin. Lack of enough serotonin is thought to play a role in depression, anxiety, mania, and other health conditions. Serotonin is the mood sleep appetite hormone. And to boost serotonin, you meditate. You can meditate, go out and run, listen to music, dance, sing, swimming laps, and getting sunlight. So now we're going to go do some um, some sessions and see what we can get. Let me see, can I get back to you guys? Hi, we're right. Let me see. Let me put my camera back on. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> so let me check out the chat right quick before we do our uh, hands-on activity. Hi, Glenda. It's me, Graham. All that information, I'm glad. I'm so grateful. Okay. So what we're going to do now, um, I'm going to clear your aura. We're going to do some breath work. I'm going to clear your aura. And we're going to do some tap. We're going to sit and we're going to tune in and tap in and feel and you're going to um, put your hands wherever you feel guided to or just um, direct the energy. Like I say, energy is, everything is energy. We all are energy. And, and the healing energy is all around us. It's just imagine a lot. You know, when I'm live, you see the little the lights. And imagine energy all around us. Light. We're all light. Imagine the energy, healing energy all around us, everywhere, just little bits.
little fractals of light. And imagine when you inhale, imagine it coming and you calling it into you. And wherever your issue is, it could physically, if it's physically, let's say you're having stomach problems, okay? Imagine that energy, breathe into that pain, sit with that pain, be with that pain, and allow that energy to go to that pain. And when you breathe out, imagine yourself breathing it out, breathing it out. And that could go with any aspect of your life. That could be physically, emotionally, grief. I got caught up in grief. Um, well, I talked about this already, but my, you know, my, I had to put down my 16-year-old Chihuahua. And it was the same around same time, my mama's birthday, August 13th in. into this grief spiral and I got caught up in it and I got comfortable in it and, and I got caught COVID. That's because I let my vibration lower and I, it's okay to grieve, but you can't stay in the grief. You can't stay. You have to do the work. You have to do the work to get yourself out of that. And and I, I got comfortable in it. And I'm usually the one that never gets sick around here. Everybody else gets and I'm walking around giving people treatments, herbs, take this, drink this, you know, and all that, and healing everybody. But I did. I, I made myself bounce back. I healed myself. No meds and everything, but uh, bounce back quick. But um, that was just, I just wanted to be transparent with that because we all go through things. Nobody is, um, nobody is, uh, exempt from going through things so we all go through things and um, hopefully this will give you some uh, insight on helping yourself self-heal and uh, so let's get started i'm going to um, i'm going to do a breathing exercise very quick let's see if i can turn some music on right Sorry, y'all. I thought I had this all queued up. Hold on. Bear with me. I thought I had it queued up. You better be kidding me. Yes, we don't need that. No, okay, so what we're going to do, like I do all the lives, you know, deep into your nose, but uh, as long as you can, when you hold your breath, imagine it just going through out your being, and on the exhale, breathing out, and allowing it to melt away. We're going to do this together three times, and then you're going to continue your, your breath work on your own. Just make sure you're not holding your breath and you're not breathing shallow. So you want the energy to flow. Okay, and then I'm going to clear your aura of any negative or stagnant energy. And then we're going to do some channeling and see what we get. We're going to do, I need some feedback from everybody. Make sure just be open. You can feel anything, whatever you feel. You're going to check the chat. We're going to talk it out. Okay. Be okay. How's the sound? Everybody hear me okay? Is this fan to that? Some of us can't see you. Okay, let me turn off my screen share. How's that? Can y'all see me? Go. Healthy and through your nose. Hold it. 
Inhale deep in through your nose. Then the light. No. Lightness. Allow it to penetrate through the first mouth as you can. And then exhale out of your mouth. One more time. Inhale deep in through your nose. As much air as you can and hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And exhale. Okay, I'm going through your arm. Then we're going to get to you. Any rib pulls, follow. Any holes, any pockets, spin a nose in it. Okay, as I channel, take the intention for whatever you need today. If you don't know what you need, your higher self here, the spirit squad's here. So, be open, receptive, grateful. Okay? Channel for a couple of minutes and then we're going to stop and talk about what we felt, what we're going through, our experience, okay? Channeling intentionally, so I want to see if there's someone. Tap in. Your awareness and then focus within it. What you be feeling? Tap in. Okay. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? Being tingling. Go back, Janisa. Your hands, a shade, light. You are also able to focus on other things besides physically that you need healing. Two, emotional, vibrational, physical, and animate objects. Your headache went away, I say. You did that, Nene. Jay, thank you for the feedback. Good for you, Nene. Jessica feels calm. Feels like pain in your low brain. Breathe into that. Breathe into that. Jessica, inhale. In that, go in. And be with it. Be with it. And once you hold your breath, be with it. And then with the exhale, let's take it the fuck out. Let go. Get away. Bye. See you later. And breathe it out. Be confident. Your ability to self heal, you have it innately. If it hurts, relax and clear mind and split tea out of the shade. I'm going to be trying to scroll up. I'm going to have touch screen, okay? You need the breath work. Okay, I'm going to do another 
intentional channel. Just sit and be focused on where you are in this moment. Moment. Mind out of the past and out of the future. You're not there. Not there anymore. Mind out of the future. Not there yet. All that matters is right now. This is what's going to matter for the future. So, bring your understanding, whatever surface you are. Focus within. Breathe. What are you feeling? Okay. You put your hands wherever you need healing and breathe into wherever you need healing. Goes wherever it needs. I'm the person who does it and you're listening. And the energy flows wherever you are, vibrational match. You have this ability to do this. Have the assistance of me channeling. Me channeling. Gives you the opportunity to direct where you need it in your life. But whatever you're feeling, you're feeling anything that is healing energy. You have been open and receptive and allowing. You may feel tingles, feel heat. You may feel the need to stretch, cry, yawn. Or all kinds of energy flow, releasing, letting go, it's your way, your body's way. God is always communicating with you. Everybody's body in a different language, but the same experience in the healing energy in the healing session. Whatever you're feeling, know it's your truth, and it is, it is so, it is happening, it is real. Don't doubt your ability, don't doubt the connection, don't doubt, don't doubt. What's the name of you? Do? Everyone, take a deep breath, put your hands together. In the preposition, take a deep breath. Good. Next up. One more, and healthy. 
I won't be teaching Reiki, I'll be teaching quantum healing. Reiki, I can get you the information in the books and the information that I had that I took. Just DM me and I can get that to you. We can go soon because uh, the, the quantum healing class, there will be a fee and I will be charging for that. Be on the lookout for that in the near future. Right now, it's uh, in the making. Any comments, any questions, any requests? Let's see, I wonder how what, for two minutes. I thought I was going to be over an hour. Let's Thank you for being here. I really appreciate this. This is this is awesome. Now that I got my uh, jitters out of the way because oh my goodness, I was so nervous. I don't know why, but uh, I don't know. I just felt like it was gonna be. I don't know. I was in my head. You know how we do sometimes. But I'm so grateful to have been um, present this healing, and I'm so passionate about it. And. Um, I'll probably go live in a few minutes. So if y'all want to come catch these hands, y'all can come catch these hands since I'm already in the zone. The energy's already flowing, so my hands on fire. Y'all might be able to come catch these hands. And uh, I would love to do this again, and I love y'all. Thank you, Ermie. Thank you, Jessica. Love you, Jalisa. Thank you so much for the love support. You always show up for your girl. Thank you, Jalisa. Let's see. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I didn't think I was going to do good. I thought it was going to be boring. Thank y'all so much for this. Nini, it's actually yours. My pleasure. Glad that I see you. To the end of earth. Love you, Amy. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Okay, I guess this is it, right, y'all? Oh, and if you want, you know, do y'all put the, um, the um, presentation the slides here, and then I have the um, what I was reading off the information. All of those information. If you want that, let me know. Yeah. I have it available. So, you guys have the rest of your enjoy the rest of your evening. I release your energy back to you. Love, 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 and love. I'm so glad that she is over. I was so nervous. <laughs> oh, thank y'all so much. I feel better. I feel better. Ooh.